So in the last video, we briefly went over why you need the Android Studio. That's what we're going to be used to make this. To, that's what we're going to use to make this app. So I assume you have it downloaded and installed, and just install it as you would any regular app on your Mac or your Windows or your Linux desktop or laptop or whatever you're on. So let's go ahead and do something. Let's go ahead and open up Android Studio, and um, this is what it looked like when you first open it up. Now I'm on version 3.1.4. This is the latest as of right now but there is a chance that in the future, if you're watching this video, this might be outdated. It might be you know, 3.2 or 4 point something. That's fine, it'll probably be similar. Um, so with this version, we're gonna go ahead and click Start a New Android Studio Project. And we'll call this, let's call this um, Accounting, I haven't really thought of this. What should we call it? Let's make a social media app about. Let's do social me media. Yeah, we'll make a social media app where you can like post, you can make posts and you can tag your friends and message your friends and all that kind of stuff. So this will be our social media app. So this is the name of the app. So, and this can be changed later. And this is not the same as the title that will be in the Play Store when you submit it to Google Play to put it in the store, which, which by the way, you're gonna need $25 to do. It's a one-time $25 fee to become a developer. So you fill out for the application name, put that in. For domain, if you don't have a domain or if you don't know of any, just put example.com. That can be changed later, so it's not that important. It's a little bit of a hassle to change, but not that big of a deal. So just put example.com, or if you have a domain name, or if you have a domain name and know what that is, you can put in something like there. Now for project location, that can stay the same. And everything else here looks good. Make sure you have the checkbox next to it, include Kotlin support, and click next. So this is kind of uh, an interesting screen here. In most cases, you can just hit next, but I want to I want to briefly explain what this does. So when you build an Android app, or it's just backing up a little bit, every year, about every year, Google releases a new version of Android. So older phones don't have as many features as newer phones, basically. So the farther back you go, like say you want to support the last 10 years, you're going to need to set this to a really low number. Um, like 4.0 or something to get as many devices as possible because the way it works is some apps, like you have to, you have to build your app to a certain SDK level. Um, I'm getting, this is a little, little bit confusing, so I'll just kind of skip over it, but I'll, you can leave all of these the same. If you want, you can be exactly like me, you can put API 21 5.0 there, you can check that and uncheck everything else. Not that big of a deal. Hopefully this didn't confuse you. If you don't know what this is, just skip this page. So go to next, and this is where we can kind of select a template. So it's kind of helping, Android Studio is kind of helping you out and saying, hey, you know, what kind of app do you want to make? We can kind of get it set up for you. You'll still have to do some coding, but we'll get it set up for you at least. So there are all these different templates you can use. And let's go ahead and click basic activity. And that just has a title and a has a title up top and a floating action button. So just click basic activity and hit next. And this screen can stay the same. Don't need to worry about that and click finish. And this should open up in a couple of seconds. Give it a little bit of time if it doesn't happen immediately. Um, so sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. It can take a minute or two, depending upon how fast your computer is. I'm on a fairly fast computer, but here we go. So it looks like that worked and we didn't get any errors. So hopefully by now you have Android Studio and you just follow the steps in this video to get a project up and running. And you're probably looking at this and wondering what this is or like this weird layout width and height and text and stuff. We'll cover all of that in this series. So in this series, in this video, I just wanted to basically get set up and, or not get set up, but just set the, set the app up, which is what we did. So let's go ahead and just stop the video here and I'll see you in the next video.